Welcome guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to install the Composer. So, what we need to do, we simply go to the website of Composer.org and we need to run three um, commands one by one. So I'm going to copy this and paste here. I'm just going to run upon commands complete. Let's run the second one. Install our verified. Now let's run the third one. Just going to download the file. Now it will take some time depending on the internet connection. It tells you that it uh, downloaded it into the uh, this directory. Currently, I have installed it in SG Docs, but uh, in some cases you might face problem. Yeah. To check if your composer is installed, you can simply say come. Uh, composer and hit uh, enter. You should get this. Now, if you don't get this, uh, you get a problem like you know, I have an article here where a composer says a composer not found. So, what we need to do in that case, we simply run this command. Now, this command, uh, I copy and paste here. Now, notice here that uh, in this command, I'm saying sudo move composer.far because that composer.far is in current directory because we ran those three commands initially and then it is moving it to this directory. Now it is possible in your case you might uh, not get this directory or you get the error this directory is not present so we need to create this directory before running this command. So to do that what we need to do is simply gonna remove this command here and I'm going to go to the root. So to go to the root we I can do uh, cd dash dash we just need to do this now I'm in root now here what do I can do I can say ls and you can see that we have USR uh, here present so here it's a USR local bin and then composer so I can go inside it and the CD local here so going in now CD bin okay so I'm inside bin so that means I have that directory currently present. If I go ls, I have the composer present there too. So for me, it is working just fine. In your case, if you don't have this directory, you need to run uh, this command sudo uh, make directory. Uh, uh, let me do this. What I do was simply go into the directory and we delete it and create it again. So it's user local bin. And there is the composer. So what I do is simply say uh, bin, and I delete this from here. Sorry, off with this. Then bin. So I delete that. I need to pass the password here. Pass the password. If I go to the root. All right. Now. To uh, if I say here ls, we get the user. So here I say sudo uh, mkdir make directory and I say slash user slash local slash bin. All right, I hit that. It asks password. I provide the password. Now it created the directory for us. So you can't even go there. Cd sudo uh, user local and then bin. So I'm there, Alice. Nothing is there currently. If I say composer, we should. Uh, we are not going to get composer because it's, uh, I just deleted the folder, so composer is gone from the system. So to reinstall it, uh, we need to go into the directory where we have the composer.far downloaded. So it is in my SD docs folder. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to go there. CD applications, stamp, SD docs. So I, da I downloaded the composer here using these th uh, three commands, if you remember. So if I say ls here, uh, you will see that the composer.far file is present in this directory. So if you see here uh, in this guide, uh, the link is in the description, it tells you that we are going to move this to the composer far file to the bin folder. So we can run this command straight from this directory because file is currently present here. So I say sudo uh, move composer bar for our password if yeah, it didn't hit in this case now what I can do I simply go cd dash dash and we can check if composer is installed just by 
composer. We got the composer back. Now if you want to check the directory, so once you are in the root, you can say cd slash user local slash bin. And here if you do the ls, you will see the composer file present there which to be moved using this command. So your composer is installed in your system completely and totally finally. So hope you like this. Uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.